It's a huge boost to those who for nearly four decades have been fighting for justice in Argentina, demanding information. 49,000 previously classified documents were studied, 13,000 delivered in the largest collection the United States has ever given to a foreign country. This will greatly help our search for the truth. Many already know, many in the justice system have shown that there are many testimonies. But it's different when they are helped with documents, which give dates, names and situations. The documents cover military rule in Argentina from 1976 to 1983, when an estimated 30,000 people were killed or disappeared. Thousands more were tortured. The Cold War was still raging and the US was keenly observing developments, sometimes supporting and sometimes criticising and putting pressure on the key players. This building was one of the main detention centres during the dictatorship, with hundreds of prisoners tortured and killed here. That period is still an open wound in Argentine society, with many questions still unanswered, many secrets still untold. These thousands of previously secret CIA, FBI and US Embassy documents cover three US presidencies, Ford, Carter and Reagan. They will help to uncover some of the horror, reveal some of the guilty and provide answers to some of the questions still being asked by the survivors and families of the victims. But no one is expecting immediate, startling revelations. In general, the previous declassified documents, in our experience, did not uncover any new cases. But they gave us more pieces towards the jigsaw, which is very complicated. The project was initiated by the then US President Barack Obama in 2016 and completed by his successor Donald Trump to the Argentine President Mauricio Macri. It's a treasure trove from the past, which many hope will ease some of the pain still being felt today. Daniel Schwein, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.